Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you a new part of the series in which I'm making the new storefronts. So my new series of buildings of Japanese retro buildings. But this time I'm making these buildings up. So first, of course, I'm doing a sketch, a rough thumbnail like this one with just my pencil and my sketchbook to test some ideas and to see if I can uh, come up with any interesting things for the theme that you provided or that I came up with because I'm doing these buildings mostly based on themes that you provided in your comments here on YouTube or on Patreon which with ideas that I already had, I had some ideas still left from the Tokyo Storyfront series I made a huge list of shop kinds that I can choose from when I'm just wanting some inspiration or something to start from but most of the times I also try to have something to start from, like a seed to start this idea uh, with. And for example here with this shop, which is a tofu shop, a uh, shop that sells handmade tofu. I had an idea because we went for a walk with Kana, it was already a few weeks ago. And we saw this shop selling tofu with all kinds of really interesting implements and tools and um, stuff that they use for making the tofu outside of the shop, just basking in the sun, probably being cleaned up and dried after or before a day of work. So I wanted to paint these, but I wanted to make the design of the shop, the building, my own. So I used again some elements from different shops that I saw um, during our walks and that I had in my references folder. Most of these are already closed or uh, just are used as a house and are not uh, longer in business. Because I liked some elements of the design, I made some photos to just have them in my library. And I'm now happy to use them in a project like this, where I can just pick and choose any element, any design of a window, any design of a balcony or a roof or whatever, and just put them together into something interesting. To be honest, I could do this only uh, from my imagination. I already have a quite substantial library of parts in my head, uh, but I would like to keep these designs, the new storyfronts, realistic and simple, so they are not over the top. If you went and started looking in Tokyo or in a similar city, you probably would be able to find a shop that is similar to this one. Or if you wanted to make a new store and were looking for a design, for an interesting design, you could make a store that looks like this. These rules keep me in check a bit and using references for some elements of the buildings prevent me from going too fantastic in this project. But on the other hand, I want to put some interesting and eye-catching and a bit fantastic elements also to make this design just interesting and original. So for example here, because this is a shop that sells tofu, which is made of soybeans, which in turn are used in Japan during the Setsubun period to ward off evil in form of an oni, so an ogre. I wanted then to paint an ogre that is kind of sad is, and is being warded off using the power of soy beans. So I added this big red mask, kind of wooden sculpture of a face of an oni to this design to make it original and interesting. I try to consider how this shop is being used, who uses it, who are the clients that frequent this store and so on and so on to add the human touch to this design also. So for example here, because this is used for making tofu, for making food, I decided to keep the huge ventilation elements on the front and the ventilation shaft that goes up to the roof. And also, for example, on the top balcony, I decided to put some white cloth that is being dried because probably it is used also for making the tofu. I added a bike that can be used for delivering it and so on and so on. So I try to keep always in mind what this shop is for actually and not just make a fantastic and cute design. What's more, to decide the colors of the painting, I tried to base my choices on real materials. So I tried to keep in mind what material this part is made of. So for example, if, if this part of the wall is clad in copper, I tried to use this um, 
greenish color that would be in reality or if this uh, shop sign is made of wood what kind of wood is it made of is it new is it old is it kind of weather beaten or is it maybe a part reused from an older building that may be burned down and so on and so on so i try to keep in mind also what the building is made of and um, the materials and keep things realistic and then on top of that decide the colors decide a nice color scheme that would make this whole design interesting if you want to see how i decided in real time you can see a live streaming that i did here on youtube and it's still on my account where i was deciding a color scheme for one of the shops in procreate on my ipad just coloring the line work roughly to decide what to do later with the watercolors Okay, so I'll leave you here for the rest of the painting process and I'll meet you at the end of the video. Okay, the painting is almost done. I had a lot of fun coloring the face of the ogre. I think it's the first time that I did something like this in the Storyfront series. And I'm actually pleased how the whole design kind of came together with the color scheme that I came up with. Okay, so this painting is finished. I hope you liked it. I already did six paintings in this series. You can see them all on my website. And you can also buy prints of these shops on my new imprint account i decided to open an imprint account uh, where you can buy this series of shops in various sizes so here is a qr code and i'll also put a link in the description okay so that's it for this video as always feel free to comment share and subscribe and you can also support me on patreon please stay safe and i'll see you in the next one bye